Let's make some heat distortion. Get yourself a plane and create a new material. We want to limit the area in which the distortion will happen. For that we need a gradient texture and set it to a quadratic sphere. Press Ctrl T and set the position to minus 5 to center the gradient. Let's call our old friend the color ramp and set it to ease. Now adjust position, scale and the color ramp. We want to cut the lower part, so copy the gradient texture and set it to linear. Reset the texture coordinates with backspace and then adjust it again. Mix both textures with a math node, set to multiply. To get heat ripples, we use a noise texture, set it up like the gradients before. Then copy the math node and connect your noise and the previous math node with it. Copy it once again, then set it to add with a value of 1. Now let's use a refraction shader and connect the add node with the IOR and the normal. Finally spawn a normal node to translate the height to normal. Depending on your scene, you can now adjust the noise texture. You can also put another math node in front of your color ramp to adjust the strengths. Best is you look up some reference for your specific scene. Here is how I set up the ones I did for this video. To animate it, you can set keys to the position of your noise texture. Also set it to 4D and animate the V. This setup is pretty depending on where your camera is placed. To avoid black spots, you should always rotate the front face to your camera. In most cases you won't really notice the difference, but it can add a nice touch. It's especially nice for sundowns, for scenes with a warm and cold contrast, or in scenes with a hot flame. You can of course download this project file. In my last video I made some jet engines. And that is a project file with the engine you saw in this video, in case you want that. That's it. Have fun and enjoy your day.